Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Las Vegas Raiders rebuild. I almost called them the Oakland Raiders, but they're not the Oakland Raiders anymore. They have an 87 offense, a 77 defense, the offensive line is where the you know the team really shines. And the tight end. Derek Carr is serviceable QB. Just Josh Jacobs is a really good running back. I put Henry Ruggs to be the number one because he will be the number one by the end of the year. Hunter Renfro is somehow a star over Aguilar and Williams, but he is the fourth string. Defense is a work in progress. Trayvon Mullins, you got Corey Littleton, Hurst, Max Crosby, Clean uh, and Farrell, uh, Jonathan Abrams, and uh, Lamarcus Joyner. I mean, honestly, the team, the defense in first part needs some work done. Let me look at the salary cap situation. Maybe trade away some players. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, Tyrell Williams is a huge contract hit. Uh, Waller. Actually, no. We're keeping Waller, obviously. Mm, maybe we try to trade away Tyrell Williams. Let's just see if there's any team interested in this man. I don't know if there would be. We don't have that much cap space. So Tyrell Williams. That's going to be reds across the board, I bet. Even when you get to the actual, some, you know, wide receiver needy teams like the Patriots, and maybe I can trade him to the Patriots for like a, like a fourth round pick, maybe a third. Let's see if I could do that. Nah, there's, I guess just no one's really interested in this man. I'm gonna let him walk. Eh, yeah, we'll just let him walk, whatever. Now we're just going to send him to season and see how uh, our record's going to be. I believe the Raiders uh, are pedestrian at best. That's what I'm going to go with. I don't think they're going to be any better than 3-4. and four. And they're 3-4 and four on the dot. We just lost to the, the Browns. Aglor, Hankins, uh, Daniel Carson, Tack McKinley, Raquan McMillan, Nicholas Morrow, Malik Collins, Devontae Booker. Yeah, so, I mean, a lot of these players, we really don't... You know, like, I'm not going to resign those guys. Daryl Worley, though, he's not that expensive. Still 25. He still has some room to progress. Booker will let walk Malik Collins. It depends on how much he wants. For a four-year deal. He wants better salary. Nicholas Morrow, how much does he want? No, he's cheap as hell. I like cheap salary needs improvement. Recon McMillan is not that expensive either. Okay, he's good. Tack McKinley is actually not that expensive either. I thought it was going to be more money. Let's see, Daniel Carson for like a seven year deal. Worth nothing done. Hankins will let walk and Aguilar we will let walk as well. I'm gonna assume a week. Just try to resign. We just lost to the Chargers. So I don't expect us to be good. You're walking, you can walk. Nicholas Morrow just wants a better salary. So it's like Collins. I'll do it to two mil. That's done. No, like Collins. No. no, no, no that. And he is signed as well. I don't... Yeah, everyone else can walk. We won't have that much money. Tyrell. Like, can I just release Tyrell Williams and save that much cap space? I don't... I didn't mean to click that, to be honest. Right? Because he was like 10? 11, and he still has 3 years on his contract left. I honestly... I'm gonna wait until... So we get to the, I guess the draft or whatever I can, you know, trade players or whatever. I will trade them for like a fifth or sixth round pick. Because I don't need them. I have, uh, I think it's, no. It's Henry Ruggs. I think Jerry Judy plays for the, the Broncos. We lost, I'm not surprised. 7-9, finished better than expected. I hope we have a lower pick. No, we have the 21st. Well, we finished 21st. So it's a potential top 10 pick. Can we trade yet? No. Who made the plays for us? The Chargers, right? Yeah. 
Panthers, Browns, Saints, Packers. It's it's always the same fucking teams. I'm in my twenty sixth rebuilds, and I'm pretty sure the same teams. It's wow, Browns and Saints. What a shocker! Always, always these two. I don't think any of our players won anything. Let's see if anyone got upgraded or not. Uh, Henry Ruggs is a superstar. It's cool. Josh Jacobs is good. Those are already superstars and stars. Defense. Corey Littleton went up to superstar. What did you do? Nothing. <laughs> um, Crosby, Tech, McKinley, Clayton Farrell, Marcus Joyner, Mullen, Arnett, Worley. And yeah, I think everyone else stayed the same for the most part. So yeah, we're going to cut him. Let Aguilar walk. Henry Ruggs and Hunter Renfro will be our number one and two. We really don't need anyone outside of number one and two, to be honest. Super Bowl winners is going to be the Browns. Ooh, a 24-23 victory. That's, I think, the closest Super Bowl I've seen so far. Any retirements for us? AFC West. We had Richie Canito and Samuel both retire. So that's a decent blow for our offensive line. Samuel was a left guard. And good. We got Trent Brown. So, gonna have to look for a new left guard, or just a guard, or a center in general. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So I think I can do some trading finally. I can. Oops. So st still no one's gonna be interested in their Tyrell Walker, especially as this is overall just went down. I'll treat him to the Patriots for like a fifth round pick. And it was accepted. Which is fine, like I said, I just wanted to get his cap space off of my roster. Let's think of the word there. Marcus Williams, always available. Trent Williams, Curtis Samuel, David Andrews, Rob Gorkowski, Hassan Reddick, Jared Cook. So I think we should definitely go for Marcus Williams, he's always available. And he's usually a good addition to the team. Give him a five year deal. 95 points, is anyone else? Mike Hilton to be your new number one, maybe? He wants the money, I got some money. Sign Mike Hilton too, David Andrews. Maybe kick him out now. Someone here already got an offer. Um. Who else is available? Hmm, Sheldon Rankins, Todd Gurley, T.Y., Greg Zerline, Jamal Williams, Carl Joseph. Johnny Abrams is fine. For now. Essentially, Trent Williams wouldn't be too much money. David Andrews is 29. And I don't think I have, yeah, I don't have the money to sign him, so I think we're just stuck with our two, who we have now. We should get both of them. Marcus Williams signed. And, uh... Mike Hilton. Oh, we got outbid for him. Okay, so we'll have to... Add a little bit more money to his contract. He's at 103. We're back in the lead. We want Mike Hilton. We need a star cornerback. Marcus Joyner is older. Ugh, Mike Hilton rejected our contract. Yikes. Um... I don't think there's anyone else then. The Malcolm Butler, I don't want him. He's 31. Let me look at the cornerbacks. Save Gers, Bat Pete. Yeah, everyone else is decently old. I mean, you got you get a little bit, you know, a little worse overall. They're not as old. But Hilton was only 27. It would have been perfect. But if case. Uh, uh, push comes to shove, and the dude is available, like he always is, in year two. I'm going to go for uh, J.R. Alexander. We have the 12th pick. Pretty good QBs available. Well, three QBs are available, but I think we'll be fine with Derek Carr for another year or two. We need to booster that defense. That's what we really need to do. A good left outside linebacker just went. Cornerback looks pretty pretty good. Justin Spikes. Left outside linebacker. 
More cornerbacks. Edward Biggs. Edward Briggs looks really good. A lot of good cornerbacks. A lot of good cornerbacks available. So linebacker right end, left outside linebacker, some DTs. Free safeties, tight ends. It's a decent draft. Another cornerback available. I mean, it just depends on how we wanna roll, to be honest. Because I can go with spikes. A lot of we, we scouted a shit ton of cornerbacks. Like he's second in dash bench press. He's 22, six foot. He's six foot one. I think Edwards Edward Biggs would be the best. Briggs. He was number one in the class. Unfortunately, he was only normal development, but we did get the number one player. Let's see who is available in the second round for us. QB is still available. Some... Hmm. Another cornerback is available late first round. Honestly, I think the pick is to draft that quarterback. Yeah, well, that's... Sean Walters, late first round QB. 73 of all within development. I think that was a good pick. I don't know why he was still on the board, to be honest. Late first round and he... 22nd, and we got him at 44. I'll take it every day. Now, is the DT still available? First round DT? The answer is yes, he is. I'm gonna draft him. He's a late first round DT, but he'll be decent. 73 overall. 20th in the class, draft him at 67 or 76. Okay, fourth round. Who is available now? So we drafted a cornerback, a quarterback, and a defensive tackle. Uh, it's, again, it's a lot of DTs. I don't think there's any good guards. Maybe in the fifth round? Well, I mean, he's a late fifth round, too, so he might still be available. One of those guards are still available. I might take the chance at him. There's a nice free safety available from the seventh round. A late free safety. Um, see, this is the problem. I don't know what the draft right now we didn't get any cornerbacks we got I don't do we run a 4-3 or 3-4 is the problem as well I, I don't remember off the top of my head I would have liked to get the right end I think there's a second round right end somewhere or is he a third round is it only Ben Gutierrez and early third let's see what are you you're a late third oh there's a right guard we're going with him. 67 overall. He's not He's not even better than the left guard we actually have right now. So, let's see. Let's see if there's anyone else available. The free safety is still available. I'm going to go with him. A late second round in the fifth. And I'm going to simulate the rest of the draft. We got two very good pieces. In the, no, technically three decent pieces. We got the D-tackle. We got a cornerback who should be our number two or three already, and a quarterback. Derek Carr, your numbers, your days are almost numbered. He's right behind you. You're 30 years old. Maybe I look to trade him. That might be the move. Gabe Jackson. And Simpson. Okay. Defense. He's number two already. He's already head of joiner. And the D-tackle is at number three. So it's not too bad. Now I need to see the, uh, the salaries real quick. We got some cap space. We save a lot for getting rid of Derek Carr. And I think that's what we're going to do. And Mariota. And LaMarcus Jr. Holy shit. I, d I didn't see the years on their deals, though. That's the problem. Car, he's he's going. I don't care. He has two years left. Uh, Mariota has one. Joiner has two. I think maybe packaging those two together might be a good idea. Trent Brown's still serviceable, so okay. 
Derek Carr, and LaMarcus Joyner. They're big cap hits. And let's. Maybe to the Vikings. I don't think the Vikings are going to be that good. No. I forgot about salary cap again. So maybe the only team who can take them is the Chags. Colts got some money. Not, not a lot, though. Wait, that was negative. Negative. Yeah, Jags are the only team who can take it. And deal like that deal? Yeah, you did. Okay. So we got the Jags first round pick now. Which might be a very, very good one. So we got a new number one quarterback. It's going to be the rookie. He's going to roll with it. Sean, or is it Sean? Yeah, hey, Sean Walters. Your kid, USF, the Bulls. We need a better right guard and just still improve that defense. Okay, we'll send him to midseason. We were 3-4 and four last year, and I think we can be uh, around the same. I don't know. The Raiders are like a fickle team for me. I feel like we could be good or we could be really bad. Let's see, we're three and four again. Not bad. Colton Miller wants a new contract. We'll give it to him. We have the money. We got rid of the 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 big contracts that we didn't need. Uh, DT wants some money. Marquise Marquise Hurst. Alex Ingold. You're not much. You're a good fullback, so I'll keep you. AJ Cole. How much do you want? I'll give you a seven-year deal. Done. Uh, and everyone else can walk. How, why does, how does Mariota want that much money? Oh, it's over a few years. It's still I'm not giving you that much money. Yeah, everyone else can walk. Okay, we're four and three. Let's check the salaries. Cap situation again. Darren Waller, I will not get rid of. Marriott will save us money. And who's the other one? It was Trent Brown. Hey, you won't be that much for next year. Gabe Jackson. Maybe if I find a, a right guard to replace him. Or he's actually playing left guard now. If I find decent centers or something and I can switch them out to play guards. Because I have the Jags pick, and I have my own pick. So let's hope we do bad again. We did. Okay. Let's make sure the Jags didn't make the playoffs. They didn't. Now let's see what our record was. We were 7-9 and nine again. And the Jags were 5-6-10. and or six and ten. So we have pretty good picks. I should be two top 10 picks. So who made the playoffs? Eagles didn't make the playoffs. Who in our division? Where are the AFC South? Or West? The Chiefs. I don't know why I didn't think Chiefs. <laughs> okay, Sim to Super Bowl. I don't expect much. Who? It's the Packers and Ravens. Like I said, it's always the same teams. Maybe one day. Maybe one day it won't be. Sean Walters, I'm assuming you're on Rookie of the Year. Give him strong arm. He's a star now. That's good. It's awesome. Or, he was already a star. He's almost better than um, their car, anyway. Okay. Uh, the Ravens won the Super Bowl. Did anyone else retire for us? AFC West. Nope. John Gruden has some Coach XP. I'll wait until the draft to see and who to spend it on. We have money cap. We have 33 mil. Look who's available. Mm, not, not shocked. We're gonna give him like a mediocre contract, and hopefully he accepts it. Okay, JJ Watts available. Baker, Harrison Smith, Michael Gallup, Orlando Brown Jr. Hmm. We, um, I'm fine with our QB situation. I'm fine with our running back situation. Wide receivers are pretty good. We got one of the best tight ends in the game. 
Lakeland Commons and Connor Williams. How much do you want? Okay, you're not that expensive at all. Center Jason Kelsey probably wants a lot. Right tackle Orlando Brown Jr. I would really like Orlando Brown Jr. How much? Okay, you're 26 and you're 27. What's the difference in the money though? 8.2 and 9. Point. So McGlinchey might be the better fit here. He had no offers anyway. Well, neither did Orlando Brown Jr. Let's see, we're fine there, we're fine there. Right end, we're fine. Clean and Farrell went up, so that's a good. Middle linebacker, we will need to replace eventually. Let's see, Harold Landry over Corey Littleton. Okay. Cornerbacks, I did offer Alexander. We have Marcus Williams. Jordan Whitehead. They're the same age. And he is star who we have, so let's we'll simulate a week. We got McGinchley and Harold Landry, which is cool, which is very cool. Okay, no one's offered Alexander anything yet, and Connor Williams is still good. And so if we get those two, I think we'll be set. Maybe get one more. We got Williams, and we got Alexander. Yeah, it's so stupid how no one offers that man a contract. Ben Baker's just Baker Mayfield. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to switch offensive line. We're going to switch McGinchley to play right guard. We'll actually be pretty good with our offensive line again. It's unfortunate Richie Incognito did retire in the first year. But, that should be good. That's if the lines look pretty good. Gabe Jackson, I might have. Him and Rodney Hudson are old. So I will have to. Uh, 33. And he's 30, right? 31. Rodney Hudson's just going to be fine. So Henry Oaks, Josh Jacobs, Walters, got Hunter Renfro, maybe another th third wide receiver. Alexander Mullins, and Big Briggs. Biggs. A second D tackle. Uh, linebackers. We'll have two good picks. I believe they should be two top ten picks. We got the Jags. They finished worse than us, so. Yeah, they were eight. Check the draft board. Right ends, free safeties, DTs, and left guard, of course. There's a decent left guard available. Wide receiver, mid first. Left end, strong safety, mid first. Middle linebacker, late first. Late first, early first receiver, and a early first middle linebacker. Those are the two I might look at. Unless it's it's you and you. No, you and you. Not you. And I mean, if there's anyone else available, I will take a gander at him. Matthew McQueen, 77, Jeremiah Weston, Ryan Taylor, quarterback, Andrew, Andrew Pope, Chuck Price, Marcus Jones, and Christian Whitmore. I don't think either of those are the ones I wanted. No. I'm going to get Bobby Ridley first. He looks better. He's a 75. We reached for him. But he was a, um, what's it called? Had a development trait. And that's what I was, the word I was looking for. I couldn't think of it off the top of my head. We're going to go with Melvin Gaddis, 76 overall. And I think he will slot into our number three receiver behind Hunter Renfro. And in front of whoever was behind Hunter Renfro. I don't know. Gary Wagner. Let's see. Right outside linebacker. Late first round, the right end looks pretty damn good. Oh yeah, Don Donnell Westbrook, third in the class. Hidden development, perfect pick. Okay, what's going to be available in the third for us? Derek Benjamin, 71, just went. Let's see, DT, cornerbacks. One junior marshal. Any. Jabari. 
Felt, Carl's Irons, a right guard, not too bad. Um, another DT available. A left outside linebacker. So I think we go with the fur uh, the 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 one who's in the first round. Seven four overall junior Marshall. And we go to the fourth round, and I think this is where we draft that right guard if he's available. I hope he is. He is. Remember, draft him. Armand Gore, early second round dude. He's a 71 overall. There is our Gabe Jackson replacement. I'm hoping these other people are available. The DT might be. He is. Oh, they're both seventh round dudes. Late first round Cam Vickers. He's a 72 overall that I'm going to draft. That left outside linebacker with the other pick. If he's available. And he's not. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I don't think there's anyone else who I would want. No. Okay, we're just going to simulate the rest. <laughs> so that was a pretty decent draft. We got some key positions. And we're gonna use our coach XP. We're gonna buy that. We got running back training boost for whatever reason. Um, I do think the defense is the weak point, so we will boost all this. Our offense is decent. It's fine. 89 offense and 85 defense. Six to 78. Josh Jacobs. Gaddis is our number three. Gabe Jackson will get replaced by Gore eventually. Mike Lynch is playing left guard now. Colton Miller. Got Alexander. So we do play a 4-3. Hmm. Let's see. How big are you? You're 6'3", 276. You're not as big as him. Hmm. Clint and Farrell. If you're a run stopper. You're an 81 overall now. You're 25. Max Crosby is 25 as well. I would like Ridley to play over the other dude. Hmm. So you're 21 and you're already 77 overall. I don't think switching him to DT would be worth anything. You're 6'5", 270. And I don't think moving Max Crosby... Eh, maybe. Maybe moving Max Crosby to DT. He's a, he'll be like a little bit leaner DT. Let's see. Uh, I just want to see his overall. That's the problem. He's a 79. Not too bad. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to have Westbrook to the chart somewhere because he is really good. Supposedly really good. We'll switch him to play left end. He's left handed too. Oops. Okay, so let's see. Did I switch anything? I don't... I never understand why it does that. Mullins went up to star. Alexander Briggs. So I think our team is looking pretty good for year three. 89 offense, 85 defense. Listen to me. And we should be better than 3 and 4. We should be. I hope we are, because we can't break up our playoff streak. We've made the playoffs at least one time as every single team in five years. I know it's not saying much, but some teams don't make the playoffs for a very long time. Josh Jacobs needs to be re-signed. Oh, I have a lot of money. Holy shit, 101 mil. Rodney Hudson, oof, Trent Brown, Trayvon Mullins, literally everyone wants to be a free agent. Just wants a better salary. Mullins is going to get a contract. I like Trayvon Mullins a lot. Max Crosby's getting a contract. Hunter Renfro is getting a contract. Clean and Farrell's getting a contract. Literally everyone. Maybe that's why we had so much money. Because 
everyone is trying to be a free agent this year. Or let him walk. We'll let Gabe Jackson walk. Abrams needs to be re-signed. Okay, Corey Littleton. 28. I'm gonna let Corey Littleton walk, but I am going to re-sign Rodney Hudson. He may be expensive. But he's a very good player. Okay, got that. Okay, so we offered a lot, but I think we will get a lot. So we just beat the Texans. Good, good, good. We want Trent Brown. So we're offering him a tad bit more money. He's good, and everyone else can walk. Okay. So we... Oh, he wants to break out. We'll send him to the playoffs. I think we can we can make the playoffs this year. Our team's good enough. I just got a belief. And we missed the playoffs. We are 8-8. Eight and eight. I mean, we're making improvements. We are close. The Chargers barely won the division. Okay, so three seasons in, we've missed the playoffs three times. We're 91 offense and an 88 defense. Uh, maybe it's time for a playbook change. Maybe put in the Browns. Ooh, Patriots versus 49ers. I haven't seen this one in a while. Or ever. Okay, so I think I'm going to change it to the, the Browns. Because I believe Terrell Arl went up to Superstar X Factor. That's awesome. I guess I think having Josh Jacobs as a focal point will be very, very good. And the defense, Ridley was a superstar X-Factor. That's ridiculous. And unfortunately, Westbrook was only a star. Dude was in my second round pick. And Corey Littleton went up to superstar too. But I have McMillan. He's younger. And he'll just fit in for Corey Littleton. So, okay, let's go to the offseason. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? It's going to be the Patriots. It was the Patriots. Is it Cam Newton? Cam Newton was your Super Bowl MVP and regular MVP. Okay, so I've got three players who can be re-signed. Gabe Jackson, Corey Littleton, and Fabian Monroe. Corey Littleton won, won from Superstar to Star. Okay. We got 33 mil. Our team is decent as it is. We don't need Baker, we don't need Cream Hunt. To it, don't really need Bobby Uruke. Uruke. Maybe to play left outside linebacker for us would be a nice fit. How much does he want? He wants 12. I can maybe make that work. We have decent DTs. We have decent cornerbacks. Wide receivers, we're pretty good into. Ridley is fine, and Golden, Devin McCourty. Only if there's like a really good strong safety out there who's miles above what we have already. But there isn't going to be Jacoby Myers, Jalen Thompson, Jimmy Ward, Sheldon Richardson, Von Bell, Sean Smith, Ugh. Hawkinson. Um. I think we'll be fine. Now we played, we do play a 4 3, so maybe I offer him a contract as well. And that's it. Okay, let's simulate. If we get both of these dudes, it's pretty fucking awesome. And we did, we did. We got both of them. I'm switching. No. Doesn't he already play? That's fine. Linebag core is looking good. Defensive line's looking good. Crosby, I'm sorry, but you got kind of booted. Yeah. That's fine. This team's looking really good. I like the team. We'll simulate to the draft. We don't need anyone else. We'll be in the middle of uh, the pack for the draft. Let's see who's available.
Wait, pick at 16. So we'll just hit sim to 16. And Arnold Bell just went. Enough outside linebacker, DT, halfback. So late first round, late first round, early first, early first, late first, decent cornerbacks, wide receivers, mid first, early first, a few more DTs, a shit more DTs, A plus carrying, right guard. Okay, cornerback, are you good? No, you're a mid first corner. I honestly don't know what I want. That's a quarterback. Oh, that's a linebacker, early first. I think we trade down and rebuild for next year, 2023. Uh, Eagles have 21st. You can be a third and seventh next year. I trade down one, they give me a third. You give me 2024 first rounder. And a fourth and a sixth next year. You give me a first next year. We're gonna go with the, the Vikings trade offer. I just didn't really I didn't like some of the players that were available, but there's just too many options to weigh to who to really get. I mean I can get let's see, first middle linebacker. So I say I either get that middle linebacker or maybe that right guard. Never mind, he's not even available. I don't. Uh, it's so hard to decide sometimes. Strong safety, mid second, early second. Maybe I go with a strong safety. 72 overall. That's actually pretty high. 72, and he was a second round potential dude. Von Poole. I do like the way. Uh... Okay. Peter Bradley. It's a mid second dude. Von Poole is an early third. Yeah, we're going with Von Poole. I just like. I like his top skills, but I mean, I guess overall, I mean, it's different, so makes sense. Okay, going into year four, still haven't made the playoffs. Let's see, any second round DT, third round left end. Mm, second round DT, yep. Where is he at? Wayne Edwards, early second round, 73 overall. We're going to simulate the rest of the draft. I don't care about it. The Giants won today. We beat the Phillies. I think that's the series 2-3. to three. The Suns won earlier as well, which is awesome. Okay. Going into year 4. Team has a 91 offense and an 85 defense. Walters is still doing good. Henry Ruggs, Hunter Renfro. Yeah, it is. You got Darren Waller. Our offensive line pretty damn good as well. The defense against was pretty good too. I mean, we have above 80s everywhere. I mean, if we miss the playoffs again, I don't know. Oh, well, that's that's what I said I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch the fucking playbook and maybe the scheme. Yeah, 77 vertical power run. 77. 81. 81. So base 3-4 we're gonna put the Cleveland playbook and find a better 4-3 defense Washington we'll, we'll go with New Orleans defense and we're gonna simulate to midseason I just think anything is better than <laughs> the Raiders defense Okay, so we finished three and four for, for three seasons in a row. We're even worse somehow. I don't. It, it just doesn't make any sense. We obviously need to sign, re-sign Darren Waller. He likes. He just likes the length of the contract. Henry Ruggs is going to be expensive. 
Alpha is perfect. Damien Arnett. It's not that expensive. We'll resign him. Brian Edwards. I mean, yeah, everyone else can walk. Prater. We just need to resign Darren Waller. So we just won our last game. We're two and five. Can we beat the Broncos? We can. He keeps wanting to break out. He just can't go above that hump. Darren Waller wants more money and better bonus. How about that, Darren Waller? Okay, perfecto. I like Brian Edwards, but we have a number three receiver already that I drafted. Three and five. The Chiefs are seven and one. We're going to sim to the playoffs. Raiders, Raiders, Raiders. Please do not disappoint. Your team is good. That's what just mind boggles me. We missed the playoffs again. We are 5 and 11. We finished this is our worst season. Our team's supposed to be so good. Only the Jags finished worse than us. I just I don't know what to do. We got a 92 offense and an 88 defense. I just need to look, I guess look at the stats. We are the 18th offense and the 23rd defense, so maybe the playbooks are not what they seem. I'll switch it to the, at least the other two very known popular teams. I'll put Mike Vabril and the Tennessee Titans. Then switch to, I think it's Cincinnati and Zach Taylor. Yeah. So we'll send him to the Super Bowl again. And it's the Ravens and Packers. I feel like... I think they both made it at least once each so far. We have a 92 offense and 80 defense, and we're not making the playoffs. Let's see, anyone go up or down? No, not on the offense at least. Defense. I Dynas, I think, went up to Superstar. I believe he was just a star before. Yep. Mm, yeah, everyone else looking the same. Trevor Mullins looking pretty good. They'll simulate who's going to win the Super Bowl. It's going to be the Ravens. Let's see, year four is in the books, and the AFC is up 3-1. to one. Let's See, anyone retire for us? Kaepernick finally retired. Uh, Rodney Hudson retired. That is a big loss for us right there. Who is our backup center? We need a new center now. At least Rodney Hudson's contract is gone, so at least I have a little bit more money to play with. It's not much. 4.3 mil, Odell, Joe Burrow, Isaiah Simmons. Yeah, Isaiah Simmons, be a, be a bro. Be a bro. I mean, Corey Lindsay would be cool, but, I mean, he has offers already, so we're not going to get him. I don't think there's any other center. David Andrews. Left guard, Michael Lueno. No. No, no, no. There we go. I mean, if he accepts this, that'd be the most ridiculous contract in NFL history. Let's see. Isaiah Simmons accepted our offer, so we got a new strong safety now. And oh, I, thought he, I thought he accepted it. I was about to say, damn, oh, I know you fucking real, you're a real goat there. Okay, so our defense should be fine. We just got Isaiah Simmons. We're going to QB training boost, and we're going to get O-line training boost. And we need to make the playoffs. We really need to make the playoffs here. We are the number... Oh, I traded with the Vikings. I totally forgot about that. We have two top five picks. That's funny. So if there is a good center available, I'm all about him. Center, center, centers. There, the late first round center, and a late first round center. So there's two decent centers available. There's a, also a good left guard available. Any good right guards? He is a late. They're all late. 
And I got the first and the fifth. Right? Yeah. So maybe I trade down from the fifth and hopefully one of those players is still available. I don't need a quarterback. Oh my god, free safety looks so good. But so does this middle linebacker. I have Marcus Williams, so Theo Ellison would just be just there. And Tim Parker, I mean, maybe I can switch to a... Nah, I might have to choose both of them if they're both available. Nope, Theo Ellison just got chosen. So, let's trade down. 2024. First round picks, any of them available. You give me a first this year. First this year, second this year, and a fourth next year. A first, a third, and a seventh. A first, a second, and a th third next year. A first, uh, Eagles, Eagles. Not bad. I'm going to draft the center with this pick. Michael Campbell just went. I hope one of those centers is still available. Ooh, okay, they're both still available. Okay, who's better, though? Late first round. Uh, Greg Phillips looks better. So I'm going to choose Greg Phillips. He's a 71 overall. It was a stretch, but who cares? Okay, who else is available? Running backs, quarterbacks. Early first round quarterback. Strong safety, I just got one. Justin Callaway. That's the other one I was looking at. I am going to draft him. He's a 73. He's even better. Maybe I should have just chosen him to begin with. But he is going to be our center. Is the QB still available? He is. I'm going to choose Rob Simpson because just to have backup. He's a 76 overall. He would have been good a few years ago. But I like our QB as, as he is now. He's not doing too good. Ooh, right guard. Done. Late first round right guard. 73 overall. Yeah, if we ever needed freaking offensive lineman for the future, I, I guess this is the draft for it. Second round DT, second round offensive linebacker, first round cornerback, and a first round wide receiver. You're a mid, and you're a late. So we're going to go with the wide receiver, Josh Briggs. 74 overall, 11th in the class. Okay, what can we get with our fourth round pick? Do we have one or two? We have one. Okay, who is available? Is that cornerback's still available. And he's not. It's a DT. Yeah, just DTs are available. Alright, yeah. Okay, second, second round left end. First round DTT here, he's a late first rounder. And Kari Duke is a late first rounder as well. We're gonna go Kari. Kari, Kari Duke, he's a 71 overall. And we're gonna simulate the rest of the draft. Going into year five, we still have not made the playoffs as the Raiders. So I'm really hoping we turn it around this year. Oh, man. Okay, let's check out our team. We are at 89 offense and 88 defense and an 88 overall team. So Callaway, Connor Williams, we got Walters, Howard, don't know who that is, Gaddis, Briggs, Renfro, Henry Ruggs. Defense is stacked. Literally stacked. And then somehow we're just not putting it all together, I guess. Okay, so into midseason. We were 3 and 4, 3 and 4, 3 and 4, then 2 and 5. I really hope the Raiders can turn it around this year. Because I don't want my perfect streak to end, because this is the last season to do it, too. And we are 6 and 1. Thank fucking god. <laughs> I would have had a resign. Decent amount of people, too. But the team's finally showing their true colors. Maybe switching to the Tennessee playbook was the real deal. 
And I have some coach XP. I'm going to spend it on, ooh, I think it's a wide receiver. Yeah. I don't need tight end. Aaron Waller's already a fucking monster. We're 6 and 1. Check the stats real quick. I mean, he's doing all right, Sean Walters, but it must be the defense. Fifth defense. I guess it's just overall, we're just both playing well. Let's see. Are we the best team in the NFL? Nope. Vikings and Colts. Vikings turned it around. Real quick. I'm glad we got their first round pick the year before. Okay, can we beat the Chiefs? No. They beat the shit out of us. How about the Ravens? They, as well, beat the shit out of us. Maybe the maybe the Falcons. Nope, we lost to them, too. Are we really going to start fucking losing every single game? Steelers, we lost them. We were 6-1. and one. We were really 6-1 and one at one point. And we've just lost every single game. Jeez, I don't think we're going to win. Didn't think so. We are 6-6. Six and six. Can we beat the Jags, please? Nope. Our... Beat the Panthers. Not in the playoffs anymore. Mm, 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 mm. We were fucking six and one at one point. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have to play week seventeen. Can we beat the Browns? No. The uh, Dolphins are the last seed so far. I mean, can we realistically? overtake them <sighs> I don't know I'm just gonna simulate it if we win we win if we don't we don't we lost well Raiders go fuck yourself <laughs> I don't know how 89 offense 91 defense and they just she couldn't put it together I'm kind of speechless, to be honest. Our team should be good. But then you got, like, the Saints who lose Drew Brees. I mean, I know your overall team. The Jets and the Vikings made the fucking Super Bowl. The Vikings were the number one seed. That's funny. And the winner of Super Bowl 59 is the Vikings. Cam Newton, but of course. Of course Cam Newton had to do something with it. He was the QV of the Vikings. And overall, my team, we ended at Renfro going up to Superstar 2. Walters never went up past Star. Defense had three Superstar X Factors. Everyone was above 80. Everyone was above 83 overall. Um, I don't know. I'm just so mentally confused of how we didn't make the playoffs. We had the fourth offense. I guess switching to the Bengals defense wasn't the right. It's 17th. You're still in the middle of the pack. You weren't even that bad. And he threw 31 touchdowns, 17 picks. Josh Jacobs did phenomenal. 6.7 yards per carry and 12 touchdowns. I guess just the passing. He threw a decent amount of touchdowns. He just couldn't get the yardage. I don't know. But uh, yeah, my streak has ended at 20. This is the 26 rebuild. And the Raiders are the first team to not make a single playoff appearance. That is super sad. But, uh, we'll get some revenge next time. I believe our next rebuild will be better. So let's spin that wheel.